Let's talk about anchored VWAP or volume weighted average price. So here's anchored VWAP on TradingView. You can find it right here, Trendline Tools. Click, open the menu. There it is. You can add it to your favorites. So if you click the star icon, it goes into your custom built toolbar. It will be right there on your chart at all times. Let's click anchored VWAP. And by the way, you actually see some anchored VWAP lines here on the chart. We've given them custom colors so that we know each individual starting point. Now, for those who are new to anchored VWAP, let's quickly dive into what it means. And how about we remove each of these anchored VWAP lines from their individual starting points? You can see here their starting points. And just quickly give you a background for those who don't know. If you already know, go ahead and fast forward a little bit. We'll get into some ideas and strategies in a minute. So anchored VWAP is, we'll add a moving average to the tar chart. Anchored VWAP is a combination of volume and moving averages. For example, this is a 50-day moving average, this blue line. So this blue line tells you the average price of an asset over the last 50 days. This blue line is the average price of an asset over the last 50 days. Moving averages do not use volume in their calculation. Moving averages are also rolling. They are not anchored to any specific point in time. They are rolling. So as see how we zoom out, they, it just keeps extending. It's not, it's just, it's a continuous calculation and there's no volume included. This is where anchored VWAP is really unique. Anchored VWAP, so we're gonna click our drawing tool, is anchored to a specific point in time. And if you recall, it's VWAP, volume weighted average price. So it's looking at the average price of an asset, but it's using volume to weight that price. If there's more volume, it has more weighting. If there's little to no volume, that price has less weighting. So let's click our drawing tool and let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna anchor this AVWAP to a specific point in time. And like we said, we'll dive into some more examples and strategies. So how can you use anchored VWAP? Well, a lot of people like to look for key events or turning points or moments in an, in an asset's history to anchor their VWAP to. In this case, we're looking at a chart of Apple, AAPL, and this is the coronavirus crash we should anchor price to the coronavirus crash because you know, there was a massive exchange of hands here. Look at the volume spikes here. Something really big happened here. There were tons of buyers, tons of sellers, lots of volatility. The asset literally changed hands countless of times. This looks like a good point in time to anchor this price to. So let's click this candle, the absolute low, and there's our anchored VWAP line. Now let's change the color, so we're going to double click. Let's change the color to something, how about uh, a red, so we just really can't miss it. So what we've done is we've added this red anchored VWAP line to our chart. And now we see a few things. This is where the strategy and insights come into play. For one, the bulls are in control. Why do we say that? Because price, see all this area that we're, see we're shading this area in. And this area is the difference between price and, and the anchored VWAP line. So we're just shading in this area. So you see from here, let's make sure we grab our brush tool. From here to here, you see the distance between the two. This means that the bulls are in control. We see what the average weighted volume price is. We see what the, aver what the, what the anchored VWAP is and we see that price is just consistently above it. Well, that is a bullish sign because most buying on average has occurred actually at this red line when you factor in this huge dip buy here. So this is an interesting takeaway. This is a bullish trend, you could argue. So that's one way you could use anchored VWAP just to get a feel for trend. There is a counterpoint to that though as well. You could try to look for moments of euphoria or, or you know, a reversion to the mean. For example, watch this. We're going to click, we're going to use our price range tool to measure the distance between anchored VWAP and actual price. So from this point on the anchored VWAP line to this high, we see it's a 56% price is 
56% higher than the anchored VWAP line starting from a momentous point in time, the COVID-19 crash. That might just say, you know what, this is a reversion to the mean trade. It has gone too far too fast. It is overstretched. There's a little too much euphoria. Perhaps this was a time to short or to reduce some, take some risk off or just to reevaluate and have some patience. So that's two ways you can use anchored VWAP that we just showed you. One, you can use it to measure the distance and see if the trend is bullish. Two, you can use it to see if there's maybe too much euphoria in the air. Now remember, prices can extend quite a bit. I'm sure when that when this was at 45%, some people thought this distance is too great. And would you look at that? It went up to 55%. But the point is you can use this tool just to get a sense of bullish demand or in certain cases, potential exuberance. It's gone too far too fast. So this is how you can use this tool to get more data. Now, how about for actually trading off of it? Well, if you wanna trade off the anchored VWAP line, you may do a few things. Say you wanted to buy Apple and you drew this anchored VWAP line. Well, you might say to yourself, I'd prefer to wait for it to come back here and test this line. Then I'll get involved. So it could be used as a tool to express, express patience. And one thing that you could do is you could right click on the chart, add an alert. So right around this $104 area. So let's make price 104, do crossing. Well, let's do 105 is good. So crossing only once. We have all of our options selected. We'll get notified on the app. We'll even get an email and we'll call this alert Apple Breaks Anchored VWAP. Give an exclamation mark. And then we can leave a message for ourselves. This is the dip we want to buy. And then create and check it out. See this orange dotted line? That is our alert. So now what we can do is sit back and wait. If price comes back to this anchored BWAP line, we will buy the dip. And we were going to wait specifically for that. So that's one strategy you could use. Now remember, there is no such thing as an indicator that works all the time. We are just giving you the tools, the thought process, and the examples to go out and do this on your own. So your anchored BWAP tool is right here. Let's just show you one more cool thing that we think is important for using anchored VWAP. And it's something that a lot of people actually probably don't do enough because this drawing tool here, anchored VWAP, is extremely easy to use. You select the tool, click a point in time to anchor it, and then the line draws. So let's dive in. We've added this line from the COVID-19 crash. What we're going to do is create an anchored VWAP ribbon of sorts. So let's also do the pre-COVID-19 uh, highs. So this was the high levels before the coronavirus was even a thing. So we add that. We're going to change this so it stands out to an orange. And let's keep this going. This gap looks really significant. Someone bought this gap. There was a volume surge. So let's click this. And what we'll do with this is change this one to that, or there we go. And then we'll do another one from this earnings report. This was a significant earnings report. So we'll click and let's change the color. And we can do a little, there we go. And then let's do one more. And let's do from the latest earnings report and this most recent high. And we can change the color again. Now, if you're not catching on, by the way, what we're doing, we're adding anchored VWAPs to our chart as a ribbon to paint a canvas. We're not just relying on one. We are building something to rely on many. And let's do one more. And how about another interesting point? Here is the share split and high. So let's go from the share split and high. That was a very important moment for Apple. That's when they split their shares. And let's do this darker red. Okay, so we've created this ribbon, this canvas now of different anchored VWAP lines. It may look a little noisy, but just bear with us. This has a lot of information on it. And what we can now do is, let's say we wanted to trade Apple or buy Apple. What we could say now is, well, this is interesting. From its most recent high, 
price is actually below the anchored VWAP line. That might act as resistance. We need to keep this in mind. So if we are looking to buy the dip here, it may not be able to go so far because perhaps there are sellers looking to get out and exit a trade, or maybe there's someone who's shorting who's actually looking to short more at those levels. So we might expect some competition uh, from this anchored VWAP line from its most recent all-time high. Something to keep in mind. Secondly, you see that there's this sort of light line that's going, this light pinkish line, which actually will make it a little more, uh, let's just make this easier to see. There we go, let's just go yellow. This line from its earnings report, it was sort of the low, and we can sort of see that price is right there. So here's a strategy for you. Why even get involved if we see that price is sitting right here? Why not wait for it to break? Or to break above both these levels, and then if it were to break above, we know, the, we know that the bulls are back in control. It's reclaimed these two prior um, AVWAP lines, anchored VWAP lines, and that could be used to make a better decision. Another example is look at how these two lines converge here. Well, these are anchored VWAP drawing lines from key moments in time, including its all time, its previous all-time high here from 2020 when it split shares, so split shares, a huge split. It made news. It got a ton of media attention, and this is a very big moment in its corporate history. It's also converging with this line from its earnings gap up. So see this earnings report? And then look at the gap here. We'll zoom in. See this gap? So what we're doing is we've now found this interesting point where these two lines converge, and it tells you a lot about who was buying and selling over this time, what their uh, average price was paid over that time as well. And so this is a level that we may want to wait for. So in terms of an actual strategy or using this to make a trade, this is what you can do. You can build a canvas and look for the ideas or the support and resistance that you think is going to play a critical role and then use that to make better decisions. So in this trade example, what we would do, and why don't we open up our paper trading to really show it, it looks to us like this is about $121 to $122 per share. So let's go to our paper trading and let's do Apple. Let's do a limit order buy and let's set this at 122. Let's do 100. We'll even set a stop loss and let's just do one one five and what we can do is we can say the stop loss is these lows here that's 115 perfect and if it breaks if it breaks this 115 well look at this 104 97 maybe we'll re-enter here so we're going to go 115 is our stop loss buy order has been created order has been placed we're buying where these two lines converge we're exiting if it breaks this low. And then what we can do is set up another trade where these next two anchored VWAP lines are. And this is 105-ish. So let's also do 105. Let's do another 100. So if we want to try to buy the dip again. And what we could do for this stop loss is if it breaks the second line of 98. So let's do stop loss price 98. And let's do buy. And now we've set up two trades based on our anchored VWAP analysis. It's a quick way to research charts, set up trades, look for support and resistance, and also create these sort of ribbons on your chart while controlling the color, look, and feel of your chart. And you see each buy and stop loss here. So we hope that helps you get started with anchored VWAP. And one more quick thing that is really important for anchored VWAP, and we sort of wish we showed you this earlier in the video, but if you stuck around, this is for you. If you click slash on the chart, open up your indicators menu, you can type in VWAP, and there is a wealth of information out there about VWAP and anchored VWAP. This public library shows you all of the VWAP tools coded by other traders and investors, just like you from around the world. You can add them to your chart, favorite them to make sure they show up in your favorites menu. Let's go back to VWAP. And you can uh, look at their source code. So we click this and let's open up our Pine Editor. Here's the source code to learn more about it, the actual code behind the indicator. We can type in VWAP. We can also read about the user. 
and we can read about the actual indicator itself. This is VWAP from the user Debugged, was published in 2019. And if we scroll down, we sort of see some quick release notes and notes about it. And if we scroll down further, there's even a comment or two. This one only has one comment, but you sort of get the idea. This one is VWAP with standard deviation bands. Why don't we quickly open this up to read about it? This looks like a beautiful, beautiful chart. Really interesting VWAP with standard deviation bands. That could be quite, quite cool. And that's a really important note as well. There's built-ins for VWAP, and you could also do a VWAP for anchored VWAP to see some in the public library. And you could just search for other keywords like volume. And all of these tools are available for you just to dive right in and experiment with. So we hope that you enjoyed this video. We hope it helps you get started using anchored VWAP and using volume and price to your advantage. And all of the tools are available to you. Thanks for watching. Please leave any questions or comments below.